I think what distinguishes me as a trainer is is my mentality on training. Even though I, I consider myself a great teacher and I love to teach, I also think that I really like to learn and I like to see myself as a forever student. They say the key to mastery is to is to continue to learn and continue to evolve as a trainer and that's what I aim to do. So, you know, each year even though I'm really confident and I feel I'm really good at what I do and I love doing what I do, I, I really like to learn other methods and other techniques to kind of expand my way of thinking. I think sometimes some other trainers, they, they get a lot of training early on in their careers and they're pretty, pretty comfortable with that training they get. They get their certifications. And then it's kind of like they become kind of stuck in, in the mentality of their training. You know, they want to be, you know, they, they love the gentle leader or they love the pinch collar and there's nothing wrong with that. But sometimes they become fixated on it and it, it's like the only way of doing something. So I like to learn a variety of methods. I love Caesar Milan, I love his training. I love Chad Mackin's training, I love Ian Dunbar's training. So it's just a matter of me finding in my mind what works for that dog. I believe in constantly evolving and constantly challenging myself. And by challenging myself, I'm gonna to continue to grow and I'm gonna to continue to be better and better what I do. I hope that I'm doing this until I'm like 80, 90 years old. I really do because this is really what I love doing and um, I just hope that I, I, I can never stop. I, I, I don't see this as a career, I see this as kind of my destiny or kind of my dream, you know. So I hope one day I have like a, a ranch or a dog psychology center and I can help lots and lots of dogs become balanced and, and get a team of workers for me. But right now I'm pretty darn happy doing what I'm doing. Thanks ma'am. Sir.